Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video to show everyone um, how I use oxygen to abort cluster headaches. Um, this method um, can help to save you a lot of oxygen. Um, start with the, the basics of what we're doing, what we use oxygen for and why we use it. So what we're doing is we're using oxygen, pure oxygen, um, to change the pH of the blood um, in your uh, brain and uh, it allows it actually to um, flow more freely through constricted blood vessels uh, and aborts the uh, the attack um, the how that's done is by lowering the amount of carbon dioxide in your blood and raising the amount of oxygen um, it's the most inert and safest way of aborting an attack without using any kind of drugs or medications. So this is what um, this is what I've learned. Um, it's not as simple as just getting an oxygen tank and just breathing oxygen um, from the tank. It, you, it, it can work, but it's not as effective as the method I'm going to show you guys. So here we go. Um, here are my tanks. This is my main tank. This is my travel tank which is a tiny little guy here. Um, and you can fill this one up from the big tank using an adapter like this. So when you're traveling, you can have um, an abortive with you. Uh, so this, here's the big tank and I use a uh, direct valve um, so that there's no, um, <clears throat> this is the, the type of valve. It's kind of like what you might similar to what you'd use scuba diving, but it's not the same, but it's similar. So you just push a button and you have high flow oxygen. Um, the other, the other method that a lot of people use when they first get into, when they first get prescribed oxygen is they get a containment, uh, valve in a bag. Um, and that you can also use that with this method. Um, you just fill up your bag, uh, before you take your breath and before you start the process I'm going to show you, you fill up the bag with air. Uh, with this, you just, it's as easy as that. It's a great investment. And, and if you have cluster headaches, this is, you know, the rock star way to go. It really is helpful because you can just leave it open next to your bed, 3 a.m. You get that first tinge or something wakes you up. You can just grab it. You don't have to open up the valve or touch anything, you just grab it and go. Okay, so here's the, here's the method, um, basically in a nutshell. So the first thing you wanna do is hyperventilate the room air. So you wanna breathe really quickly. For about 10 seconds. You might start to feel a little bit lightheaded. Don't worry about that. Um, if you do, stop. Then you want to, after you finish exhaling, you're going to, ex after you finish, excuse me, after you finish hyperventilating the room air, you're going to exhale all of the air in your lungs. This is the most important part, is to make sure that you get as much of that air out of your lungs as possible. You blow it all out, exhale really hard. And even when you think you've got it all out, kind of bend over and cough the rest out. Just <laughs> So you know, you have absolutely no air left in your lungs. So when you do that, <clears throat> you exhale all that air. Then you're going to take a full breath of oxygen. Um, so the difference between just breathing oxygen and mixing it with room air and, is you're not actually um, effectively changing your blood pH because you've still got a lot of carbon dioxide in your system. So the idea here is to get all that carbon dioxide out and replace it with oxygen. So I'm gonna give you a whole circle here. This is how it goes. Just
and repeat as often as it takes before you feel that headache go away. With this method, I have been able to abort headaches with one or two puffs. Um, and that's a big difference between what I used to do, which is, you know, you'd be on the tank for 10 minutes. Um, it uses a lot of oxygen, which is, as we all know, um, you know, cumbersome to deal with new tanks, refilling, all this. So it's really helpful to have, uh, be able to do this with using less oxygen. So that's the basic method. Um, remember, it's best to do it somewhere where you have a chair or your bed. Um, and when you're, you, know, you saw me raise up my hands like that, what I'm doing there is I'm actually trying to create sort of that lightheaded feeling where you almost feel like you might faint. Um, but it's, you don't get to the point where you're actually going to pass out or anything. It's just you want to get that, the beginnings of that feeling. And that to me is what is the feeling that you're replacing that carbon dioxide with, with oxygen. You actually feel it. It's like you, you kind of feel like a tingling sensation across your head. You kind of hear a little bit of white noise. And when that happens and you'll get to recognize it, it's aborted. Um, so remember, hyperventilate room air, exhale as much of that air out of your lungs as you possibly can, take a full big hit of oxygen, kind of raise up, raise your hands up, and hold it, and exhale, and, and when you feel that feeling, you should start to, you know, feel better. Um, I hope this has helped, and uh, good luck.